Hey, what's happening guys? It's me, Entrance Nexus, back here with part three of the War for Cybertron San Diego Comic-Con reveals. Uh, so if you've watched my previous two videos, I've gone on about the deluxes and what wave they're going to appear in, as well as the first Optimus Prime and Sideswipe and stuff. So check them out and see what you think. Pass your comments below. So we're in part three now, and what we're, I think one of the biggest things that have got people hyped, I think because they came round by a lot of by the time a lot of people have sort of been starting to grow up and buy toys and whatnot and stuff like that, and it is the huge Micro Master reveal. Now I'm a huge fan of Micro Masters, especially over the past couple of years. I've become more and more indulged in them, picked up a lot of the old. 80s ones myself and to see these guys sort of getting the revamp getting a bit more up-to-date look is absolutely ace now let's dive right into the the actual micro masters themselves now we what's been revealed is the race patrol the rescue patrol and the battle patrol now there's been a lot whether they're going to come in four packs three packs or two packs now they are actually coming in two packs how the renders have been shown from the uh, the convention uh, and let's kick off with the race patrol race patrol obviously featuring that of swindler and road handler now swindler was the delorean looking one uh, and i appeared to be sort of an individ individual fan favorite because of the back to the future line you know it's swindler he's a delorean the only transformer to ever actually hold a delorean style alt mode uh and he looks pretty cool i've got to say you know i'm absolutely digging for the swindler uh from images i've seen these are a lot bigger than these sort of 80s micro master in fact they look roughly about the same size i would say as a target master that we got in the titan's return line and much like going to be for the same size as fire dive who is featured with sideswipe and optimus prime uh, in terms of articulation, obviously, the looks again, they're going to have very bog standard sort of what? One, two, three, four, five, six. About six points of articulation, seven if you include the head. Um, you know, you're not going to be able to bend their arms by the looks of things, but their knee joints and legs are going to be a bit more articulated. And again, they, I, I'm not sure if these are going to come with their own sort of special effects. Uh, and but I do know I've seen images of spe the sort of special effects whooshes, the fire blasts being sort of added onto them. So whether we get there's there's pegs where you can individually put them onto the back or front is questionable. Uh, but I'm you know I'm looking forward to the the whole race patrol. Uh, whether we get the other part of the race patrol later on, such as uh, tailspin and freewheeler, which is the yellow. So the sports car has yet to be sort of announced but fingers crossed that we do get eventually the whole um kit or the whole race patrol at some point so but welcome back micro masters um hopefully we'll get a long line of the micro masters going so on to the next uh micro master team is the rescue patrol i think this is one of the most common ones and one of the sort of favorite amongst the Micro Master teams. Uh, obviously we get Stakeout and Red Heat, who is not Red Hot. Uh, whether that's been copyrighted is probably the right, probably a thing that's happened. But Stakeout that you all know is Holly from the Transformers Victory. Uh, and I'm so digging it. It's, it's good to have an update of Holly. Um, about bloody time now. As you can see there, Red Heat, who is the fire truck, is keeping this very sort of future looking fire truck mode. And he does have an articulated ladder like the original generation one. Um, now there is Cybertronian on the side of Stakeout. Now th there has been a bit, you know, things going around. Oh, it says Holly, it says Victory. Uh, I believe the translation on the side in Cybertronian is just it merely says please. Uh, so you know that's cool that we're getting sort of little things like that I would love to see the white version of Stakeout because uh, I know Holly was took on two, two different colours within sort of the Victory uh, 
slash zone mode. Uh, but again, I hope we see the other two uh, part of the rescue team, which is Sea Watch and Fixer, which is the ambulance and the speedboat. So yeah, um, these are, if anything, out of all the Michael Masters that have been put in, have been advertised within San Diego Comic Con, these are the two I want most. Because, yeah, I need it. I need them. Right on to the final uh, Michael Master reveal, and that is the Battle Patrol. Battle Patrol, again, probably one of the more common ones among the Michael Masters of the 80s. Uh, and here you see it is Big Shot and Flask. Now, Flask used to be called Flank. Now he is the green tank. Uh, Big Shot is the brown sort of anti-air turret bot. Uh, and again, you know, their, two, their other two counterparts were Sidetrack and Sunrunner. Uh, very popular. Again, I want all these Michael Masters that are coming out. Uh, Big Shot is obviously a retool of the Rescue Patrol's Red Heat. As you can see, their body and sort of whatnot are very similar in design. They've just stuck, obviously, the turret mode and whatnot on them. Uh, what is going on with Flask's hands? Because he's got wheels for hands. But I dig it because, you know what? I think these guys are going to sell well. And hopefully we're going to get, eventually, Decepticon, you know, Decepticon Micro Masters. Which all yet have yet to be announced. So, they're the Michael Masters. What do you think so far? Because I absolutely love them. But let's go on to the Battle Master Lionizer. Now, Lionizer uh, obviously is sort of one of them weapon add ons. Uh, comes in the shape of the lion. You can see this being retooled into the likes of Steel Jaw, possibly Ravage. Uh, and obviously, you're going to get the effect with this. You can see that sort of blue whoosh there. Uh, and again, this is going to be down to your imagination and just sort of arranging them on your shelf. Uh, Lionizer, if you didn't know, was already featured as a Generation 1 character. He was the weaponizer of the Action Master Rad. Uh, Rad obviously got, out, I think, featured in the actual Action Master commercial. He was only one to speak to Jazz. But Lionizer, as I said, has been about it and this is sort of a... a re-imagination of the character whether he has any kind of throwback history to him is something else but again i'm not sure of the price point but i think he's gonna come into the price point either price point around the same of the micro masters or that of fire dive uh, these could be the cheaper range um but i don't mind this guy i'm sure i'll pick this guy up at some some point as well but again release dates are not yet announced right that's it for part three join me for part four and the final part when we'll be talking about probably one of the biggest hypes of the san diego comic-con war for cybertron reveal